This is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And that's plain, man. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect. So, today's lesson is just being having the love of this truth, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. Not having the cares and concerns of this world, man. Because this world is against Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This world is contrary to the Heavenly Father and the law, statutes, and commandments that he's, he's given us for instruction, man. To live a holy and righteous life, man. You know? So I'm going to get right into it, man. You know? I'm going to go to the book of Romans 1 and 26, man. Because these are some of, this is just example of the things that go on in this world, man. This is Romans 1 and, uh, matter of fact, I started 25. This is Romans 1 and 25. It says, who changed the truth of God into a lie? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever a month. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one towards another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. You know, and this is what's going on, man. And that's being promoted heavenly, heavily in this society, man. In this world, man. You know. I'm going to jump to verse 29. It says, being filled with all unrighteousness, man. See, this word is righteous. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is righteous. But this world is full of unrighteousness, man. Now read on. Fornication. Wickedness. Covetousness. And that's, man, you think about the meaning of these words as I'm going down the line or as I'm reading the scriptures. That's that's this world, man. Fornicators, wickedness, covet covetousness. This whole society is about being covetous, man. This whole society is about you see somebody else with that, you got to get that. You got to get better than him. You you coveting other men's goods, man. You got to have that. Covered in his stuff. He'll cover in a man's wife. That's big here, man. Uh, maliciousness. Shit, man. Come on. Full of envy. Murderer. Debate. Deceit. Malignity. Whisperers. Backbiters. Haters of the most high, man. Despiteful. Proud. Boasters. Oh, man. Especially Americans, man. Y'all ain't nothing but boasters, man. This is the most proud people on the planet Earth, man. Um, inventors of evil things, man. Disobedient to parents. That's that's big, man. You know, and these are just examples of things that go on in this world, man. You know. Grab another scripture real quick. This is. James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, you men and women that's committing adultery, really on your Yahweh Shah, man. 
by following after all these following after the ways of the world man it says know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the heavenly father man know ye not that you know it's asking a question know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Heavenly Father. That's plain and simple, man. Why? Because this world don't love Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This world is after the, the, the fashion of Satan, man. This place is wicked. You got all kind of man. Just the adultery thing is 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 so big, man. You got all these women stepping out on their old man, man. And that's the thing. Jake got to get with a chick that got a dude, man. You get props for that type of shit. That's that's what that's what keeping it real is. That's what being hood is. That's what being part of the world is all about, man. Being contrary to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Let me get another scripture, man. This is Second Ezra, fifteen and fourteen, because these are just straight to the point, man. This is Second Ezra, fifteen and fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, man." You can't, you can't be in this world and be in this truth, man. It, it just, it don't, it's water and oil, man. It don't mix. And you call yourself double dutching, in and out, you know, back and forth. You, The Heavenly Father going to pull the rope and trip your ass, man. You don't want that. Grab another scripture, man. Because, like I'm saying, like the scriptures are saying, man. This world is against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You get this scripture just to prove the point. This is St. John 15 and um, 18. It says, if the world hates you, which we, it's evident that the world hates us, man. We out there on the block bringing it out, the world hates us. You go around your people. You try to tell them something right. Hey, man, y'all know y'all ain't supposed to be eating that pork, man. Oh, you ain't a real nigga. You right. I'm not. You know? Yeah, yeah, and y'all ain't supposed to be spoken, man. You tell Jake that. Ah, uh, Jake got to do it. Because that's what the world do. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So it hated the Yahweh Shah before it even hated us. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. In other words, if you was rolling up the blunt, firing it up, if you knocking down the next man's gal, if you selling dope, being a nigga, you walking around with your pants hanging off your ass with a mohawk multicolored, if you a flaming homo, if you a homosexual, all these things, man, these things are of the world. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you, man. And you see how these scoffers come, mockers come up, man. And even like I said, like when you try to tell your people something, which is why it ain't no point, man. All they gonna do is come against you, which they not really coming against you. They coming against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because we, we're mere mouthpieces for the Heavenly Father, man. You know? Now I get a, 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 a quick scripture just to back that up. Go to the book of Luke. I believe it's 10 and 16. Let 
Yeah. This is St. Luke 10 and 16. It says, He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, Salakia. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. Hey, man, that's plain, man. I'm going to get one more scripture. Shit. This is St. Jude. St. Jude verse 18 It says how that they told you There should be mockers in the last time Who should walk after their own ungodly lust man And that go back to We Trying to tell our people Hey man We the, he, we the Israelites man We the children of the Heavenly Father You know This is the way we are supposed to be living man we're supposed to be trying to keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. What do they do? They mock. They scoff. Because they doing what? They walking after their own ungodly lust, man. The love of Yahweh Shem Yahweh ain't in their hearts, man. What's in their hearts is back in the Romans, the first chapter, man. Being fornicators, adulterers. Hey man, they into everything here in Babylon, man. That's why this is spiritually called Babylon, man. Because it's is is it's a place of confusion. And that's why it's about to be destroyed, also, man. And unless you don't want to get destroyed, you better leave the love of the world alone, man. You better have a love of the Father in your heart, man. Not the love of this world, not the concerns of this world. Don't get it twisted. There's things that we got to do through, you know, in this society in order to get through, you know. You can't just, you know, come on, man. But you can't just be engulfed into this shit, man. It's Use the world, man. Not abuse but use it, man. You got to you got to maneuver, you got to eat, you know what I'm saying? But don't you ain't got to be a nigga. Because that's what the world love, man. They love to see niggas being niggas, man. Because if you were the world, the world would love his own, man. That's why they hate us, man. Which they really hate Yah by Shim So with that, man, you know. Hopefully, someone of the elect was edified. Hopefully, you know, edification came out. You know, with that, I'm going to say all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect, man. Lord willing, you know, we, we almost out of here, man. You know, shit, we almost out of here, man. There's so much shit going on. It's, I mean, you damn near can't keep up with everything, man. Situation in Syria. Hey, man, this thing is it's getting cranked up, man. It's time to to just... You got to forsake this world, man. You got to forsake the things that are in this world, man. You got to be just about this. This is it, man. This is the number one thing on your list, man. You don't want to miss the chariot, man. You don't want to catch the fire and destruction. We about to come into a time like the scripture said it like there's never been before, man. You know, like I said, man, until the next time, you know, shallow warm, man.